Hi, I'm Tony Soares. I'm going to show you how to preheat your pots in the oven. That way you're not out in the wild uh, burning up a whole bunch of fuel and uh, exposing the wilderness to possible uh, wildfire. So a quick, easy way to preheat pottery is in the house oven. I'm going to put my pots in there. Easy as that. Close the door. You can leave it open if you have some really fine clay uh, that's a little uh, subjected to thermal shock, uh, but usually everything works. Close the door. Put it on bake 350. Start. And after about a half hour of this, I will turn it up to 450 for about another half an hour. So the pot's sitting there for at least an hour and really uh, soak in the heat and release all the chemical moisture, all the humidity out of the, the pottery wall. This is um, one of the things that my students are always kind of confused about. And it's just like baking bread or cookies. It's no different. You got um, basically your dough where you're putting it in there and you're getting it kind of pre-baked for the, the campfire. I will let it cool down after that. Put it in the campfire and uh, build all the you know the fuel up around it and just light it on fire. Easy as that. So I've turned the oven up to 430 degrees. It's been on for about a half hour, 35 minutes, and I'm gonna turn it off and just uh, let's see. Oh, there it is, off. And I will we'll show you the pots inside. So they're. Warm and cozy. So they are warm and cozy in there. And I'm going to just let them cool down now for, I don't know, probably about an hour before they cool off. And then they'll be ready to go out to the firing. And if you're doing this method in your house, be careful and make sure the clay is fairly clean. Uh, don't mix a whole bunch of, I don't know, organics in there if it's commercial clay there could be weird chemicals in there so keep your sliding doors open and um, the windows open while you do this um, it can get a not real smoky but you know there could be some kind of chemicals or vapors or something who knows but this clay just comes out of the ground and there's nothing in there but sticks little bits of microorganism things you don't even smell them for the most part you can always get an outside oven. <clears throat> All right, so these pots have cooled down quite a bit. Um, when I first put them in there, they have the greenware, very dull thud sound. So now they have a little bit higher pitch sound. I didn't record the sound in the beginning, but... So you can, it sounds like they've had some tempering. So this will allow you to, uh, you know, heat the pots up really quick in the firing and they shouldn't get any thermal shock. This kind of clay I don't need to preheat, but uh, sometimes I do and I did it for the demo. Uh, your commercial clays definitely need to preheat. And if you're using a thicker body, uh, thicker walls, making thicker walls, uh, leave them in there for an hour and a half to two hours and really get that moisture out of the walls before you attempt to put them in, the, in a fire. Anyways, hope you enjoy this video. And please subscribe to my channel and please forward these things, these uh, videos to, and uh, subscribe, please. Thank you.